Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. This afternoon from Sunset Field, it's a Patriot League clash as the visiting Wellington Eagles face the Brush Bee Diggers already underway with a second hitter. And Percy Odell delivers a fastball outside. Here to Parker Jimenez, Braxton Garner, the first hitter, hit a ground ball to the right of the mound that Odell fielded and throughout the hitter swung on and fouled left side into along the line that could be trouble the shortstop Ludgate goes out and did he make the grab I think he did and he's still on the ground that's a heck of a play along the line on that ball hit and Ludgate is still down but the catch is made and hopefully he didn't turn a knee or something like that along the line as that ball was twisting and he's definitely hurt and hopefully he just bumped knees out there and he'll be remaining in the game because that did not look pretty whatsoever for Tanner Ludgate, the shortstop. They're still attending to him along the left field line. Well, that's just some of the bad breaks in the game of baseball. What an incredible play to make the catch on that ball that was hit in no man's land by Parker Jimenez. Now let's see if Ludgate is going to stay in the game. He's such a good player, an excellent athlete. We'll set the lineups here momentarily. And they could change, obviously, defensively for the B-Diggers. It was a fly ball hit by Parker Jimenez. And again, down the left field line, Keaton Jillick, the left fielder, gave chase, but... Tanner Ludgate was the closest. I don't know if they even collided at all. But he's still down. And based on the length of time that Ludgate is down, that might be it for him. This could be a significant injury that unfortunately would sideline the B-Diggers senior on the third pitch of the game. B-Diggers looking to win their sixth consecutive game. And we're going to take a break. And we will come back two outs top of the first inning. And right now, prayers for Tanner Ludgate after what could have been and might still be a gruesome injury on a play made along the left field line. This is the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Tanner Ludgate was carried off the field with a lower left leg injury. It looked like either a knee or an ankle. And it's a significant injury as Ben Metlin will now step into the game and Heavenly Father, we certainly ask you for the protection of Tanner Ludgate. He made an incredible play along the left field line in a fly ball, and then things went haywire after that. So thoughts and prayers are with Tanner Ludgate, and that not only looked like a game-ending, perhaps a season-ending injury, but we will not speculate at this point. And that, that just hurts from a, the standpoint that he's a senior. You don't want to see anybody get hurt. I don't care if they're a freshman or a senior, but for a senior who's had an excellent season, a multi-sport athlete, and unfortunately it's part of playing sports. You never know. We can never take anything for granted. It's a, a lesson in life. And God bless Tanner Ludgate as Ben Metlin will now step in and he will be the shortstop. Two down and the base is empty for Carter Whedon who is a center fielder today and the offering fastball is a strike on the outer half. It is 0-1 Tanner Gray is the cleanup hitter. He's the third baseman. Second baseman Deegan Kaiser at fifth. Tanner McLean the left fielder at sixth. Zach Blem the DH at seventh. Down and away the catcher Nathan Blem at eighth and Cade Keller will be hitting ninth. One ball and one strike. And the offering is outside. First pitch brought to you by Buildings by Design. They'll make your vision a reality. Visit buildingsbydesign.com. And the 2-1 to Whedon. Swung on line, and that is fair inside the right field line, headed for the corner, giving chase as Jimenez, rounding first, going to second is Carter Whedon. The throw's going to be late, and it's a two-out double for Carter Whedon. And that'll bring up Tanner Gray. 
Wellington coming in with a two and four league record, five and eight overall. The B Diggers just the opposite in league play. Or check that Wellington's four and two and five and eight. The B Diggers also four and two and seven and four. So Carter Whedon picks up a two out base hit. And he raises his average. That was at 257. Here is Gray, right handed hitter. Breaking ball is a strike on the outer half of the knees. Gray, a sophomore, hitting 278. And this is only a three year school, so you've got freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. But a good team. Breaking ball is outside. One ball and one strike. Two down, a man at second, top of the first inning. We'll set the B-Digger defense here in just a second now that that has changed. Open stance and the offering. That is low. Sawyer Albert at first. Landon Meshes at second. Edgar Ortiz, the third baseman. Ben Metlin at short. Keaton Jillick is in left. Hunter Proctor in center. Caleb Jimenez in right. Wiley Eicher is behind the plate. And Percy Odell. With a 2-1. That's a strike on the inside corner at the knees. Two balls and two strikes. Odell pitched a gem earlier this season. Right here. He's got a 2-2 swung on. Granted right back to Odell. What a play on a sharp hop. It was almost self-defense on one hop. Odell makes the play. And that will end the top of the first inning. He made two very good defensive plays. We'll keep it right here. Wellington gets a base hit, leaves a runner at second. They do not score. The B-Digger starting lineup is brought to you by B&B &B Appliance. For more than 30 years, they've got the best appliances in downtown Fort Morgan. That is B&B &B Appliance. Batting first is Landon Mesh. The second hitter is a center fielder, Hunter Proctor. The number three hitter is Percy Odell. Batting fourth is the left fielder, Keaton Jillick. First baseman, Sawyer Albert hits fifth. Batting sixth will be the shortstop, Ben Metlin. Caleb Jimenez, the right fielder, hits seventh. The third baseman, Edgar Ortiz, hits eighth. And Wiley Eicher, the catcher, bats ninth. Defensively, Parker Jimenez is at first. Deegan Kaiser at second. The third baseman's Tanner Gray. Cade Keller at short. Tanner McLean is in left. Carter Whedon in center. Braxton Garner in right. Nathan Blem is behind the plate. And Luke Moore is on the mound for the Wellington Eagles. Let's check out Moore's numbers so far in 2024. Big, tall right-hander. Well, doesn't have much. This is his second appearance. No one lost record and no ERA. Two innings pitched. No runs, two hits, three walks, and four strikeouts. Wellington in their road grays and the B-Diggers and their maroon and gold stripe uniforms with a, well, they've got a mixture of socks. I see one with gold socks, the other with the maroon stripe socks. Landon Mesh has had a huge year. Mesh is hitting 463 and leading the team in hitting. Left-handed hitter against the right-hander, Luke Moore. The offering. And that one sails all the way to the screen. One ball and no strikes. He warmed up pretty good, but that one missed by about five feet in two different directions. And the offering. Swing and a foul to the backstop. Threw that one in on the hands. One ball and one strike. Full week of baseball on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 
I have a doubleheader tomorrow on B106, 330 in Fort Morgan against Northridge. Back here on Wednesday on 1010 against Resurrection Christian. Curveball is grounded foul, first base side. One and two. Thursday, Fort Morgan will be home to Roosevelt on B106. They'll be at Roosevelt on Friday, weather permitting. No brush B digger baseball until next week after Wednesday's game against Rez. Of course, Saturday is prom for both Brush and Fort Morgan High Schools. One ball and two strikes, the offering. Breaking ball bounces in off the protector of Blem. Two balls and two strikes. Gorgeous day. Oh, my gosh, what a day. 74 degrees. And the wind feels like it's at about three miles an hour. It's very, very light. Well, it's actually heavier. You look at the flag. 2-2. That's down and away with a heater. Three balls and two strikes to Landon Mesh to lead off the bottom of the first inning. Wellington stranded a runner at second. Laying down the sign is Blem. Moore to the plate. Down and away. It's a walk. And that'll send up right-handed hitting Percy Odell. Landon Mesh is a good first ball hitter. I can't imagine he's walked too many times this year. <laughs> In fact, that's the first walk issued to Landon Mesh. Of 30 walks, Brush has been issued. He's the only player not to be issued a walk until now. Odell leads the team with seven walks, squaring to bunt, take it down and away. Mesh goes, and now he's got to go back to first, and the throw, and that one is low. I'm not sure what happened there. I thought Landon got a good jump, and all of a sudden, he might have slipped out there as Hunter Proctor is now the hitter. Yeah, Odell's on deck. Hunter Proctor, the senior, hitting 190. Just has to get back on track offensively. And the good thing about him bunting, he puts pressure on the defense with his speed. Throw back to first mesh back in diving. The Bay Diggers have won five in a row. And after this, the schedule gets murderous. I mean, it is real tough. You have to win this game. Rez University, Eaton and Sterling. Squaring to bunt, fouls it off to the right. And Brush will be an underdog in all four games. There's no doubt about it. And that might seem like an opinion, but Rez is 12-2. and two. University is 10-2. and two. Eaton is the defending state champion. They're undefeated, and Sterling is 10-3. and three. <laughs> So a combined seven losses combined for the next four opponents. Wellington has eight losses by themselves. So you win today, you're 8-4. and four. And then if you can somehow pull off an upset in one of those games, Rez will be here Wednesday at University on Friday. I, I, Kevin Fergus will have that call, weather permitting. And that's bunted to the left side fielder by the pitcher Moore. He sets, he throws the first just in time, getting the speedy Proctor. However, that is a sacrifice, one to three. And there's one down. Excellent sacrifice bunt on a pitch that was up in the zone to Hunter Proctor. And here is Percy Odell. Another right-handed hitter for Brush. Odell batting 281. The stretch by Moore. And the offering. That one sails to the screen. Ricochets back to the catcher. No throw. Wild pitch. Yeah, we should be able to go live when the B-Diggers bat in the bottom of the fourth inning. We'll have another trivia question. Troy O'Connor and I believe Matt Cranson were both winners to our last question a couple of home games ago, last time the B-Diggers, or the only time they won a state championship, 1991. We'll get them arranged for a hot dog at a future game, and that's a strike, top of the zone. One ball and one strike to Percy Odell. No score, bottom of the first inning. On a 74-degree Monday in brush. At the belt, the pitch. Curveball is a strike, top of the zone again. Ball one, strike two. He's got a nice breaking ball. It's got early life to it. So if the B-Diggers sit back, they might be able to read it. 
The infield is playing back. They'll sacrifice a run for an out. And the one-two. Breaking ball stayed high. Nice over-the-top delivery by Luke Moore. As this school matures, because they're only a third-year school, they're going to have some very good... They've got good athletes now. Two balls and two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss on a fastball up in the zone. Two down. Odell strikes out, and here is Keaton Jillick. Having himself a 387 season. It's amazing. He's only driven in three. Wow, not a lot on base for him. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Totally fooled on the pitch in the dirt. And spinning is the catcher, Blem, but it was right on almost underneath Jellick. No balls in one strike. Yeah, that is unlike Keaton. I haven't seen him swing at too many pitches in the dirt this year. But now he knows what he's got. That's why you're at bat. never starts when you're inside the batter's box. It starts when you're on deck, at least the pitch. That's right there, a strike down the middle. I think he's guessing now. Keaton is guessing. I think he thought they were going a bender again. It's 0-2. Mesh at third, out of the stretch, is Luke Moore. And the offering. Curveball is grounded to first on two big hops. Jimenez steps on the bag. And that will do it for Brush. In the bottom of the first inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. And a man left at third. Let's head to the second. No score. Brush and Wellington in Brush. On 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. And the first pitch at the top of the second is up and in to Deegan Kaiser. I'm John Beltran. No score. Brush and Wellington. Top of the second here in Brush. He's the number five hitter in the lineup. Swung on and tapped foul along the third base side. One ball and one strike. Kaiser hitting 293. Only a sophomore. He'll be followed by Tanner McLean and Zach Blem. Both teams stranded one base runner in the first inning in scoring position. Percy Odell, the right-hander, to the plate. That's a strike. Again, top of the zone. Had a little lateral action to it. One ball and two strikes. Open stands from the right side for Kaiser. The offering, and he took it. Yep, he swung anyway. Went halfway through. It's a strike on a nasty breaking ball. Kaiser strikes out. Man, that is a nasty curveball thrown by Percy Odell. And there's one down. Odell picks up his first strike out. Here's Tanner McLean. Hitting 355 from the right side. Another open stance. The pitch swung on and fouled back. No balls in one strike. Yeah, it was that victory over Bennett that Odell nearly went the distance. Albert had to get the final out on one pitch. Setting up on the outside is Iker. The offering fouled straight back. 0-2. The B-Diggers have pitching. Iker, Odell, Jimenez. Jillick, Albert, you've got enough pitching. And you're going to need it against the next four opponents after today because the hitting is going to be tough. The offering, swung on and grounded to second. Meshes right there. Sets, throws the first two down. Here is Zach Blem. As Tanner McLean was retired, Blem is the DH. Hitting 294. One of the few juniors on this team. The pitch. Swung on and fisted slowly to third. Charging his Ortiz. Sets. He fires the first off line, but Albert kept his foot on the bag. Nice stretch there by Sawyer Albert, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Percy Odell. One and one-half innings are in the books. In brush. Wellington nothing. Brush nothing. On 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 
I'm John Beltran. Let's head to the bottom of the second inning. No score. Brush and Wellington. It'll be Sawyer Albert, followed by Ben Metlin and Caleb Jimenez against right-hander Luke Moore. Albert batting 382, well above the team average of 314. 13 hits on the season. That's tied for second. 19 for Landon Mesh. The pitch, breaking ball, skips in. Backhanded by Nathan Blem. One ball and no strikes. So the Bee Diggers, three games in five days. And every opponent after this, or the next four, really tough. Way outside. 2-0. That's why you have to play well today. Forget about just winning. You have to play well. No score, bottom of the second inning. Albert awaits. 2-0. Fouled on a late swing, a fastball down the middle. It's two and one. Tanner Ludgate was slated to hit next, but he sustained a significant injury on a fly ball, a pop up down the left field line. He made the catch on, but got all twisted up and had a left leg injury somewhere in the left leg. Swung on, fouled off the end of the bat on a changeup, first base side. Haven't seen that changeup too much, but. Moore just threw that one there. Two and two. Let's see. Wellington. I mean, they played some quality baseball this year. Even with eight losses. The offering in the dirt with a breaking ball. They only lost at Bertha nine to four. The Bee Diggers did not compete with Bertha. That was an 11 to one loss. They beat Liberty Common down Weld Central nine to eight. Bee Diggers beat them six to one. Split a doubleheader with Tinmouth. Down Highland 7 0. They lost to Sterling twice, 13 to 3 and 11 to 4. 3 2. Swung on, grounded a second, charging, setting, fielding, throwing to first just in time to get Albert is Deegan Kaiser. One out. That'll bring up Ben Metlin. Metlin hitting 229. He's driven in seven runs. The Bay Diggers only have two homers as a team. That came by Jimenez against Fort Morgan in the first game of the season. So you've got to manufacture runs of your brush. You're not going to be hitting them out of the park. One ball and no strikes. But that's the beauty of baseball. There are different ways to skin a cat, so to speak. The pitch. Way outside, ball two. Off I-76 and exit 66A in Wiggins, Stubbs Gas and Oil. With all your gas, food, and travel accessories, Stubbs Gas and Oil. One out in the bases, empty 2-0. Swung on and grounded slowly up the third baseline. That's going to be trouble. Fielding and dropping the ball off the throw is Tanner Gray. That's a base hit. No way he throws him out. And that'll bring up Caleb Jimenez. Caleb's got to get the swing going, batting just 217. He was hot early. Just got to find himself. One swing always gets you back into the groove. Very short lead there now. Two steps for Metlin. Throw back to first, back in diving. Yeah, I don't think he's going anywhere with that lead unless it's a hit and run. And the B Diggers might need a hit and run. Ben with a conservative lead. A good two steps now. The pitch. And that bounces to the plate. Took a Sunday hop for Blem. One ball and no strikes. Edgar Ortiz to hit next. At a big basis clearing double against Tinmouth in a 7-3 victory. The pitch fouled on a strike. Top of the zone. It's 1-1. One one. Went with a change up there. Moore's got three solid pitches. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. The right fielder, Caleb Jimenez, a junior. Blem lays down the sign. 
The pitch. Curveball. Low. Ball two, strike one. Moore is a tall pitcher. Strong. Tall and strong. Takes a little time to get to the plate with that over-the-top delivery. The pitch. That's up and in with a fastball. Three and one. Well, now... What do you do if you're Jimenez with a 3-1 count? I mean, it's got to be a meatball. He does like those high strikes. Got to watch out you don't swing at that one. If it's below the hands, go for it. 3-1. That's below the hands, but he pops it up at the infield. To the left side, drifting out and making the plays the shortstop Keller. Back to first is Metlin, two down. That was a pitch to hit, and he got underneath it. That'll send up Edgar Ortiz. Like Jimenez batting 217. The pitch. That's outside. One ball and no strikes. Waiting for some big time action here. It's a little subdued at sunset. You don't feel the energy yet, but it'll happen. One big swing. The pitch. Swing and a miss on a changeup. It's one and one. Out in front of that one was the third baseman, Edgar Ortiz. No score in the bottom of the second. Ortiz awaits the offering. Curveball is down and away. I mean, Luke Moore has thrown 34 pitches, 17 strikes, 17 balls. So the B-Diggers want to be aggressive, but they also have to be smart. Medlin takes the lead. 2-1 pitch. Fouled off to the right. Went with some heat down the middle. 2-2 two and two to Edgar Ortiz. If the B-Diggers win, they would move to 8-4. And extend their winning streak to six. The offering. Curveball is in the dirt. That's an excellent take by Ortiz. He was ready to pull the trigger. And decided not to. So Metlin will be taking off from first. Three balls, two strikes. With two down. Moore gets the sign. Moore to the plate. Swung on and driven in the air down the right field line and misjudging it, but making the catch was Braxton Garner nearly overran it and somehow reached out. He took a very unorthodox angle and made the play. Well, the B-Digger strand a runner for the second consecutive inning. No runs on a base hit, an infield hit by Metlin. No errors and one left. To the third we go. No score between Brush and Wellington on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We'll try to get an update on Tanner Ludgate, who was injured in the top of the first inning. Three pitches into the game and carried off the field. And I'm sure I would think he's been at the hospital for a while, but we are certainly praying for Tanner Ludgate and his quick recovery. Here is Nathan Blem, the pitch, and that ball hit him on the left leg. Near that left knee, and Blem is on. Second base runner for Wellington. That'll bring up Cade Keller. Keller the shortstop today. Another right-handed hitter. Batting 280 as a sophomore. Okay, with these teams not scoring as of yet, this is where small ball normally comes in. Is Keller going to test Edgar Ortiz a third? He is the ninth hitter. And testing him means you lay down a bunt. Blem with a three-step advantage. Odell to the plate. Way outside. He overcompensated for the hit batsman. One ball and no strikes. No runs on one hit for both teams. The B-Diggers have stranded two. Wellington has left one. Neither team has committed an error. And the 1-0. Swag and a miss on a fastball above the letters on the inner half. It's one and one. 
Big, big hack there by Cade Keller. Again, off of first is Blem. Odo with a sign. The pitch. Breaking ball down and away. The throw is going to sail into center field. But it would have been a stolen base anyway. Tough pitch for Iker to get a really good throw on the breaking ball. No air. Stolen base for Nathan Blem. Backed up nicely by Proctor. Two balls and one strike. Now you would think, all right, you're not going to run him, but you bunt him. You get a man at third with one out. What do they decide to do? The offering. Curveball is popped foul and out of play. Two balls and two strikes. Odell does have one strikeout, which came in the second inning. Braxton Garner, the leadoff hitter in this lineup, is on deck. Two balls and two strikes. Blem off of second. Odell looks back. The pitch fouled. Again, that was above the letters. Remains at two and two to Cade Keller. Maybe Odell goes with a little bender there. Let's find out. The offering curveball is upstairs. Three and two. Yeah, the importance behind this game is paramount. Three and two in terms of winning it. The pitch fouled at the plate. Oh, man, he kept that ball down, but Keller shortens up that swing, and it's a lot easier to make contact when the swing is compact. Another 3-2 pitch is coming up to Keller. Odo looks back, runner at second, nobody out in the third. And the offering. Swing and a miss on a fastball that would have been ball four. And a strikeout, that was just below neck level as Keller goes down, one out. Yeah, that would have been ball four, undoubtedly. Braxton Garner hit that weak two hopper to the right of Odo, who made a nice play and threw him out on the first pitch of the game. It's a big strikeout for Percy Odell. The offering, fastball is upstairs. That's virtually the same pitch that Keller swung at, but this time Garner took it. Nathan Blem is the base runner at second, hit by a pitch and stole a base. One ball and no strikes. And the offering, foul to the backstop. Tried to tie him up with that one. It's one and one. Moving along at a fairly methodical pace. I use the word methodical because I'm not sure if that's actually fast or slow. I think it's just uh, a nice, normal, easy rhythm. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Breaking ball is just below the knees. Ball two, strike one. To Braxton Garner, right-handed hitter for Wellington. Runner off of second, huge lead for Blem. The offering, that's off the plate, off the glove of Iker. Runner to third, the throw, and that's going to be late. It'll be a pass ball. Iker simply dropped it. Passed ball, sends Blem to third, and three and one on Braxton Garner. Odell's got to come in with one. Two bases are open. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Tied him up. It's three and two. Great location there by Percy Odell. Three balls, two strikes to Garner. Odell. To the plate. Fouled. Oh, man, that pitch was middle of the plate and just got a piece of it. Remains at three and two. Parker Jimenez will hit next. And he's a left-handed hitter. A two pitch. Swing and a miss on the ball in the dirt, but it gets away. The hitter's going to reach and the runner's going to score. It's a strikeout for Odo, but it's one nothing. So it goes as a strikeout. 
However, on that pitch that was in the dirt, it got away. And it's a one nothing lead for Wellington. Yeah, that's just bad luck there. Known as a wild pitch third strike. Man has had that pop-up that Ludgate got hurt on the pitch. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes. The right-hander Odell looks back. One step later first. The offering. That's up and away again. 2-0 and oh with Carter Whedon on deck. That's talk about small ball for a run, right? The offering. That's above the letters, 3-0. and oh. A hit batter, a stolen base, a pass ball, and a third strike that got away, a wild pitch third strike. That's how they score the run. one nothing Wellington, even though it's not on the board for some reason. Foul to the backstop. Is somebody up there keeping score? There you go. Yep. Three balls and one strike. So Odell has two strikeouts in the inning, but only one out. Off of first is Garner. Good two to three step lead. To the plate. Swung on, lined, and caught by Metlin. The throw to first. That'll be a double play. That's a double play. He caught that before it hit the clay. A 6-3 double play and a line shot. Hit by Parker Jimenez. And that does it for Wellington in the top of the third. No runs, no hits, no errors. And the bases were left empty. Two and one half innings have been played. Wellington won. The Bead Diggers nothing on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's go to the bottom of the third. 9-1-2 and two for Brush. The Bead Diggers trail the Wellington Eagles 1-0. Wiley Eicher, Landon Mesh, and Hunter Proctor against right-hander Luke Moore. Eicher stepping in for the B-Diggers. The pitch foul to the backstop on the changeup. Eicher hitting 231. Moore has thrown 38 pitches up to this point. And the offering. That is over, but low. Another changeup. One ball and one strike. Yeah, that's such a valuable pitch. And the offering. Below the knees again. Ball two, strike one. To Wiley Eicher. The pitch. That's a strike on the inside corner at the knees. Count on Wiggins Electric for quick, efficient, and courteous service to keep you up and running. They provide you with the service and products you need at your most critical time. Wiggins Electric. Two balls and two strikes. More to the plate. Fouled. To the screen. It remains at two and two. Only two, is it th two or three? Let's see. Yeah, two hits combined in the game, one by each team. And Wellington has the lone run. The pitch, curveball called strike three. That was dirty. What a beautiful pitch. Thrown by Luke Moore to strike out Wiley Eicher. One out. His second strikeout. Here's Landon Mesh. Mesh walked and was stranded at third in the first. And the offering swung on and popped foul out of play. No balls in one strike. Again, he's a good, aggressive first ball hitter. And that's why Moore did not go with a fastball. Mesh would have been all over a fastball. He's only walked one time this year. That was the first plate appearance. Bounces to the backstop. One ball and one strike. Keep in mind, since 2003, Western Engineering Consultants has been providing big firm products with small firm relationships. Again, big firm products, small firm relationships. 
Visit westerneci.com for more of the pitch. Uh, that one sails to the backstop. Off that wooden partition there, it's two and one. Yeah, Moore, when he misses, he misses. At least with this batter, two and one to Landon Mesh. The pitch, swung on in line towards center field. Whedon is coming on, makes the grab, two down. That ball simply hung. And Mesh is 0 for 1. Here's Hunter Proctor, a sack bunt in his first plate appearance. Yeah, we plan to go Facebook Live in the bottom of the fourth inning for a couple of hitters. Just do that on a very limited basis on the 1010 KSIR Sports Facebook page. The offering, fastball, a strike. Just below the letters, it is 0 and 1. To Hunter Proctor, senior center fielder. The pitch bounces in on the curveball. One ball and one strike. Games like this, it's nice to be the home team in a tight game. Have that last at bat if you need it. The offering way outside, backhanded by Blem. Ball two, strike one. And the offering fouled back. And it's two and two. Laying down the sign is Blem. And the pitch. Breaking ball is upstairs. Three balls and two strikes. Wellington leads one to nothing. Two down and the base is empty in the bottom of the third inning. Moore gets a sign. The offering in the dirt with a changeup. Proctor walks. And that's a second walk issued by Moore. Here's Percy Odell. Struck out swinging in the first. Well, Proctor with that speed, you're down one nothing. You got to take off, and he does. And that's taken for a strike. Throw to second on the hoppy slides, and he's in there. The tag was applied, but Proctor definitely in there. Oh and one. Moore at the belt with a glove. The pitch fouled. No balls and two strikes. To Percy Odell. Proctor off of second. He's the tying run in the bottom of the third. The offering, curveball is down and away. One and two to Odell. Yeah, we'll see what question I ask for a chance to win a hot dog at a Wednesday's game, by the way. It'll be Wednesday. I'll have that all set up for Wednesday. The pitch swung on and popped up. Left side of the infield, the shortstop going out and making the catch. Edge of the grass is Kate Keller. And the bead diggers are retired. In the bottom of the third, no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left in scoring position. We head to the fourth inning in brush. The visiting Wellington Eagles lead the brush bee diggers one to nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. A base hit to begin the fourth inning on a pitch up in the zone. And Carter Whedon ripped it into left field. He's now two for two. He doubled his first time up. And has the only two hits for Wellington. They've got a one nothing lead. Tanner Gray hit that hard one hopper that Odell made an excellent play on. Weighted leads off of first. The pitch swing and foul tipped on the breaking ball. That was also a pitch. I think I said pitch. 
I don't know what two words I was trying to say at once. No balls and one strike. Gray followed by Kaiser and McLean in the visiting half of the fourth with one on. And Carter Whedon. Iker gets a sign from the dugout, relays it to his pitcher. Gray awaits the no-ball, one-strike pitch. Whedon, three-step advantage, the offering. Swung on and foul. went with a breaking ball, fouled it to the screen with a runner going. 0-2. Oh Good pitch. Really, it would have been a stolen base because of the breaking ball. And now, if you're Odal, you really don't want to throw it in the dirt. Well, you, you could get away with that if he swings because first base is occupied. No balls and two strikes. The pitch way outside. That was an automatic ball because Iker was set up out there and it didn't come close. Certainly a waste pitch. One and two to Gray. One nothing Wellington. Top of the fourth inning. Throw back to first, back in diving is Whedon. Gray, open stance. Huge lead. Man, Whedon's almost at four steps. The pitch. Oh, it clipped him. Oh, it just barely got it. Grazed the left forearm. Second hit batter. And here is Deegan Kaiser. I mean, that looked like he got some arm hair. It wasn't much. Kaiser struck out looking his first time up. Stretch by Odell. And the pitch going to bunt, and he lays it down third base side. Odell's got to go to first. He sets. He fires to first for the out. The sacrifice goes one to three. Runners now in scoring position. And one down for Tenor McLean, who grounded to the second baseman, Mesh. And because this is a one nothing game, the B-Diggers are going to play the infield in. Brush only has one hit. Wellington only with two. Odell delivers. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes. Odell with one of his better fastballs that... Just missed. Open stance. The offering. That's a strike at the bottom of the zone. Fastball. One and one. This will be pitch number 50 thrown by Percy Odell. We're in the top of the fourth. And the offering. Swung on and driven deep into right center field. That's going to find a gap. It'll clear the bases. Whedon will score. Gray steps on third. Around third. It's going to be a two-run double for Tanner McLean. Wellington three, brush nothing. And Zach Blam will now step into the batter's box. That was well struck. Yeah, I hate to say it, the B-Diggers don't rally. Pitch. Swung on, grounded left side. Tough play for Metlin. He's going to go to third, and the throw is wide of the target, and it gets away. Here comes the runner to the plate, and no throw. And now the hitter to second, no throw, and it's four to nothing. The air's going to be on Metlin. It was a fielder's choice anyway because he decided to go to third, but when he threw it away, that allowed McLean to score, Blem to second. First error of the game. And it's a tough one because Ben Metlin is not used to playing that position. So the angle on that throw is now, even when you throw to third as an infielder, it's not a natural throw. But they would have had the runner. Blam was hit by a pitch. The offering. That's a strike with a breaking ball. Again, we could be looking. We hate to say this. I hate to see a five-game winning streak followed up by a five-game losing streak. But if they lose this game... You are a clear underdog in the next four. That's why they've got to come back. Throw back to second. Tag applied. Standing on the bag is Zach Blem. Wellington has taken advantage of their limited opportunities. They've only stranded one. The B-Diggers have left three on the bases. 
And that ball hit him. Third hit batsman. That got him square in the back. And Cade Keller is now going to be the hitter. Here comes Tom Odell. That could be it. Three hit batsman, two in the inning. Going to be tough to stick with him now. But again, the B-Diggers playing on Wednesday and playing on Friday. Don't want to use up too many of their pitchers. So if Coach Odo can extend Percy Odo, that would be great. And keep this at 4 nothing. Allow that B-Digger offense to rally. Yeah. Still conversing to the right of the mound. And that conversation is over. Courtesy runner at second now for Zach Blem. And I thought I saw 32, which is not on this roster. We'll have to check that out. Let's see if we can find a number that matches. Yeah, I don't see anything on, on the roster unless it's not a 32. The offering swung on and grounded foul, third base side. Yeah, that's clearly a 3-2. And I'm looking at every single number. As far as I'm concerned, Unlisted player. The 0-1 curveball is a strike. What a gorgeous pitch by Percy Odell. Belt high, it's 0-2. 4 nothing Wellington. Straight up at 5 o'clock, this is 10-10 KSIR. Brush for Morgan Weldona. Also on the TuneIn app and KSIR.com. And the 0-2 in the dirt, scooped up by Iker. One ball and two strikes. The B Digger lineup has been neutralized for the most part by Luke Moore. But they can certainly get to him. The 1 2 pitch. Here it is. Swung on and popped up into shallow right field. Coming in as Jimenez makes the grab. Two down. Runners back to first and second. Excellent off speed pitch by Odell. Here is. Braxton Garner grounded to Odell and then struck out. But he reached and a run scored because it was a wild pitch. Keep it at 4 nothing. Odell taking his time. Let's get into rhythm here. The pitch. Foul. There you go. Good pitch. No balls and one strike. Third plate appearance in four innings for Braxton Garner. And the B-Diggers are in a hole halfway through this game. Runners take their leads from first and second. Swung on and popped foul out of play to the right. 0-2 oh to Garner. This feels like a much longer inning. Much longer inning. If you're only down by four after this, you're okay. The offering. That's popped foul. Right side, Albert giving chase. And uh, nearly made the play up against the side of the fence in the batting cage. Stays at 0-2. I think he just ran out of room. Excellent pitches by Odell. Mixing it up nicely. A big two-run double. By McLean gave Wellington a 3-0 lead that they've extended since then. 0-2. The pitch. That is popped up. Shallow right field. Long run for Jimenez. The second baseman, Medlin. Check it. A mesh makes the it was an M. Just the wrong one. Mesh makes the catch in shallow right field. And side retired. Three runs on two hits. One error. And two left on the base pass. Three and a half complete. Wellington four. Brush nothing. 
We'll do a Facebook Live segment for a couple of hitters in the bottom of the fourth on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Keaton Jillick grounded to first. In the first. The pitch. That sails over everybody. I have not seen a guy like Luke Moore throw a shutout through three innings and miss as badly as he has with some pitches. I mean, real bad. But he works his way back into the count. 1-0 pitch. That's very high. Two balls and no strikes. The Bay Diggers in a 4-0 hole. That one bounces to the backstop. Yeah, you just can't survive pitching like this. You can't. With that 50-50 ratio, eventually, either Brush is going to get to him or he's just going to throw himself off the mound, and that is low, a four-pitch walk. Jillick walks here. Sawyer Albert, who grounded a second. Now, Odo struggled, too. Odo's hit three batters. Luke Moore has not hit a batter, but he's walked three. Big target is Albert. The pitch. Breaking ball down and away. That's a surprise. You throw four pitches outside the zone. You start with a breaking ball. You think you just want to groove a fastball in there. We'll get to a Facebook Live segment momentarily. 1-0 to Sawyer Albert. The pitch. That bounces in. Runner takes off for second. Jillick is in there. That'll be a wild pitch. Well, all the B-diggers have to do is stand there. 2-0 to Albert. I mean, I would not swing until the first strike is thrown. No way you're swinging. 2-0. That's a strike, fastball, maybe a changeup actually in the inside corner. Two and one. All right, now you get aggressive. That was a hitter, uh, pitcher strike anyway. It was on the inside corner. Two and one to Sawyer Albert. Four, nothing. Wellington, bottom of the fourth. The pitch, strike, fastball right down the middle. It's two and two. Off of second is Keaton Chillick. Watch out with that breaking ball or the changeup. The offering and the curveball stayed high. Big pitch coming up for Luke Moore. Now he will not go the distance considering he's thrown 66 pitches through three plus. Three, two. Fouled off to the right. That's a great swing there by Albert. Just reaching that bat out to extend the at-bat. That was a change-up descending in the zone. That's an outstanding adjustment by Albert. Stays at three balls and two strikes. Jillick again with a sizable lead. And the offering. Very high. Sails away. Jillick the third. No throw. Another wild pitch. And now the B-Diggers have something cooking without putting the ball in play. Ben Metland with an infield hit his first time up. It was a slow roller along the third baseline. If he does the same and you're Jillick, you definitely hold up. You don't want to break for the plate if you're Jillick on a ball hit the third. Because that might be your best option. The pitch. That's a little bit low. One ball and no strikes. Moore began this bottom of the fourth throwing six consecutive balls. Now, we still have not gotten to a Facebook Live segment in this frame. We're waiting for at least an out so we can get to the latter half of the bottom of the fourth. Stepping off is Moore. One ball, no strikes. Two on and nobody out in the bottom of the fourth. Four nothing, Wellington. Throw back to first, Albert back in easily. Yeah, you love using Albert as a hit and run. 
You want to save his legs a little bit. But a hit and run, you could use that with a lot of hitters or base runners. 1-0. Upstairs with a changeup, two balls and no strikes. Jimenez has home run power, even though it's been a while. And he's on deck. Stretch by Luke Moore. 2-0 pitch. Strike. Down the middle of the fastball. It's 2-1. and one. This has been a mighty struggle for Luke Moore in the bottom of the fourth, trying to just get back into his rhythm or whatever rhythm he kind of established. Albert with a huge lead, the trail runner. Stepping off, no throw. Well, Moore is trying to entice Albert to take off from first and get a, a free out, so to speak, or an easy out. Two and one, the offering. Very high with a fastball, three and one. Now you start getting tired because you're not following through and the ball stays high. Three balls, one strike. One run in the third inning, three in the fourth for Wellington. The B-Diggers held scoreless, but they're threatening. That's below the knees on a changeup, and the bases are loaded on three walks. We'll have a visit to the mound. Jimenez will now hit. He popped to the shortstop. Keller his first time up. Luke Moore is 73 pitches deep. How about a huge rally for Brush and win this thing in six and a half instead of having to bat in the bottom of the seventh. We're only in the fourth inning, but you might as well start doing the damage now. Jillick walked on four pitches. Alberts got extended a little bit more. And then we just had a walk to Ben Metlin. The only inning that Moore did not walk a hitter was the second. He has not retired the bead diggers in order at all. And Jimenez will now step in at 0 for 1. One swing can tie the game for the bead diggers. More to the plate. Right down the middle. Took something off it. It's 0-1. That's definitely a changeup. You don't hear that glove pop. It's got beautiful movement on it. 0-1 to Jimenez. Jillick is the lead runner at third. Full of bead diggers. The pitch. Curveball is just up and in. Good spot. Barely missed. Got some power at the plate, some power on deck in Ortiz. One ball and one strike to Caleb Jimenez. Lemnay's down the sign, the pitch. Fouled at the plate on the changeup below the knees. One and two. Well, watch out for that curveball. He's capable. Or another changeup. One ball, two strikes. The man is waving the bat, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Throw him a nasty breaking ball. And Caleb strikes out. One out. Ortiz. Pop to the right fielder, Garner. We'll go Facebook Live right now. There's our Facebook Live. Bases loaded, one out on the 10-10 KSIR Sports page for a couple of hitters. The offering, very high, one ball and no strikes. We'll ask a trivia question here in a couple of minutes. This is for, a, and I'll take care of it, a free hot dog to the next game against Resurrection Christian. And if you're watching this on replay and nobody has answered correctly, you're also eligible. We'll take the first one to answer correctly. 1-0 pitch. Down and away. It skips into the glove and out of the glove of Blem. Two balls and no strikes. So again, most will watch this on a replay basis. 2-0. 4 nothing Wellington in the bottom of the fourth inning. With one out. Ortiz ahead in the count at two balls and no strikes. 
the pitch. Swung on and grounded a third and misplayed. And then tagging the runner, throwing a first and a hop, and it's offline. Ortiz reaches. It's an RBI. Albert is eliminated. Five unassisted. And it's four to one. We'll stay here for one more hitter. Here's a trivia question for a free hot dog. You've got to answer in the comments section. In the most recent year, the Brush Bee Diggers were in the state baseball tournament. That's for a free hot dog to the game on Wednesday against Rez. Iker struck out his first time, and it's down and away. And if you're watching this live, you can answer, if not on replay. Either way, the first one to answer that, the most recent year, the Bee Diggers qualified for the eight-team double elimination 3A state tournament. 1-0. Very high again. Two balls and no strikes. It's a good swing by Ortiz. Unfortunately, hit it right at the third baseman. We'll stay with you for this hitter, and that's it. 2-0. Swung on and chopped the third and played and stepping on the bag for the out. Well, it took a little bit of a tricky hop, but the out is recorded. We'll leave Facebook Live right now. As the play was made by Tanner Gray, made two consecutive plays. The Bee Diggers score run in the inning as we head to the fifth. Wellington is still in the lead, 4-1 to one on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Wiley Eicher is now the pitcher for Brush. Caleb Jimenez behind the plate. See, so should be Ben Metlin and Wright. And Percy Odles, the shortstop. Wellington with a 4-1 lead. Parker Jimenez, Carter Whedon, and Tanner Gray. Yes, the head coach of the B-Diggers the last time they made it to the state tournament was Kevin Ferguson. Of course, he knew the answer. 2015, so since we're off our Facebook Live coverage, that's why I give out the the correct answer now. The B-Diggers got to the finals that year, and they had to beat Eaton twice in one day. On May 27th, they won 4-3, to three, then lost 7-1. to one. All right, so here we go. As the first hitter of this inning is Parker Jimenez. He popped to the shortstop Ludgate, who got hurt on the play and taken – to the hospital with a significant injury. Then a line drive double play to Metlin, who was the shortstop at the time. Wiley Eicher's got a live arm. There's no question about it with a good changeup. Here's the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. 1 0 with a 4.97 ERA for Eicher. This is his fourth appearance. Jimenez lays down the sign in the pitch. That's off the plate, 2-0. and Got to keep this at 4-1. Got to keep it at 4-1. No other option. I mean, there is, but then you're going to be forced to come back from a bigger deficit, and that's on the outside corner for a strike. This is the heart of the order, 2-3-4 and four for Wellington. Two balls, one strike. And the offering. Swung on and fouled to the backstop. It's two and two. Good pitch. Try to tie him up. And this is their only left-handed hitter. Everybody else hits on the right side for Wellington. Two and two. The offering fouled. Oh, no, that's along the left field line, man. It was twisting along the line. Jellick is going to make the catch, man. I got totally fooled on that. Totally fooled on that. A fly ball to left. I thought the way he swung, it kind of was cute out there. But one down, here's Carter Whedon. That's a disadvantage. You're sitting at ground level when the ball's hitting the air. 
especially if it's in along the left field line where the, the sun is coming out of the sky or near that area, you can kind of lose it. That's why I shouldn't have been watching the ball. I should have been watching the body language of the player. And the out is recorded on the grounder with a pitcher covering. Two down. That was a grounder to first. And with a pitcher covering, the play was made beautifully there by Sawyer Albert. Two down with Iker covering. A nice 3-1. Here's Tanner Gray. Grounded out, hit by a pitch. Officially 0 for 1. The offering. Strike with a fastball. No balls in one strike. And the pitch down and away. One ball and one strike, two out, base is empty. The pitch, up and away. And the 2-1 pitch, swung on and chopped foul, first base side. Two and two to Tanner Gray. Let's see if Iker throws him something nasty. The pitch off the glove of Jimenez. It was a high fastball. Now it's a three balls and two strikes. And Caleb has caught before, but not a ton this season. And now with Ludgate injured, Jimenez is the number three catcher. Well, now the number two. He was the three. Three-two pitch. Swing and a miss on the inner half with some cheese. And it's a one-two-three inning for Wiley Iker as he fans Tanner Gray. We have played four and one-half innings from Sunset Baseball Field and Brush. The Bee Diggers are looking to rally as they trail Wellington 4-1 to one on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. All right, let's check out the changes. Luke Moore has been taken off the mound. Enrique Oderman is the new pitcher, Odreman. And I don't, I don't think Moore is in there at another position. I think that's it. Everybody else stays intact. Wellington leads 4-1 to one in the bottom of the fifth inning. And the B-Diggers have Landon Mesh, followed by Hunter Proctor and Percy Odell. Moore, having gone four innings, is eligible for the win if Wellington does not, uh, if the B-Diggers don't catch up, obviously. I mean, Wellington could still win the game and Luke Moore would not be the pitcher of record if Brush rallies to tie the game or take the lead. Mesh has walked and lined out. He's 0 for 1. Left-handed hitting second baseman. The pitch down and in. One ball and no strikes. Luke Moore threw 83 pitches. Three strikeouts, five walks. The pitch. Swung on line towards right center field. A dive. And the catch is made by Whedon. Holy Mahungas, what a catch. He laid out to his left. And he robs Mesh of at least a single, if not a double. Maybe even more than that. If he misses that ball, I think Mesh could have circled the bases. One out. Oh, man. That, that ball was hit so hard, but it didn't have any topspin. It just hung. Hunter Proctor takes a pitch outside. Proctor a sack, bunt, and a walk. Zero for zero. 
What a huge defensive play by Carter Whedon. And the 1-0, way outside, two balls and no strikes. Four runs on three hits for Wellington. The B-Diggers have one hit in the game. An infield hit from Ben Metlin. 2-0, bounces in. They've had a number of base runners, though. They've stranded five. Wellington has left three. Three balls and no strikes. Proctor awaits the pitch. Right there, a strike on the inner half knee level. It's three and one. Let's see if Hunter's taking on the three one. He does, and it bounces in. Sixth walk issued by Wellington pitching. Percy Odo has struck out and popped to the shortstop Keller. Need just one hit, hit to get this lineup going. Just one. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to get it. I mean, zero hits in this game for Brush in the outfield. The pitch. Swung on and fisted slowly to third. The play's going to be made to second. That's one. And back to first. That should be late it is. Tanner Gray comes up with another assist in this game. Two outs for Keaton Jillick. Fielder's choice, five to four. Jillick grounded to first and walked and scored Brush's only run in the fourth inning. Stretch by Olderman. The pitch. Strike. Fastball. Outside corner. Just above thigh level. It's 0 1. Blem lays down the sign. Nice lead over there by Odles. He's going. Swung on and popped up into shallow right. Coming on as Garner makes the one handed grab. And the B Diggers are retired. In the bottom of the fifth inning, no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. We head to the sixth. Wellington four, brush one on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the top of the sixth inning. The B-Diggers are six outs away from going down, but they've got to hold their own with Wiley Eicher starting his second full inning of work. Wellington with a four-to-one lead. We have had four combined hits in the game, three by Wellington and Ben Mitlin's infield single for Brush. That was in Mitlin's first at bat. Five, six, and seven for Wellington in the sixth inning. Deegan Kaiser, Tanner McLean, and Zach Blem. Kaiser has struck out in a sack bunt, and that small ball has really helped out the Eagles along with one error committed by the B-Diggers. Iker ready with a pitch. Swung on it. Fist is slowly to short. Odal is right there. Gets up. Fires to first and air mails it up against the cage and into the dugout, actually. Second error committed by a B-Digger shortstop. The first was on Metlin. That one on Odal. And that was, if you're throwing that wide and over the target occupied by Sawyer Albert, it's, it's a big miss. Here's Tanner McLean grounded out and doubled. And that double drove in two runs. The pitch strike with a fastball on the outer half at 0-1. Brush can ill afford to allow another run with only one themselves scored through five innings. No balls and one strike. The stretch. And the offering. Swung on, hit slowly right back to Iker. He's going to run towards the runner, and then he's going to fake. Now he throws it, and the tag is applied and out. Odell applied the tag. Great job by Iker. Throw back to first. And watch out. You don't want to get loose with that baseball. And the runner, the hitter, did not turn towards second, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Excellent job by Iker. He goes straight at the base runner, and then you toss it back to the bag he came from. Fielder's choice, one to six. One out. That is smart baseball 
by Wiley Eicher. Zach Blem will not be the hitter. This will be Tegan Griman instead. Griman, right-handed hitter, will now be batting in this spot. And his numbers are not bad. 304 as a freshman. Wow. That's the team average. He's right there with a the team average. Stretched by Eicher. And the pitch. And that one clipped him on the jersey. Throw back to first, but it clipped him. I'll tell you what. Mm, I'm not sure about that. But that's the ruling. Fourth hit batter by a brush pitcher. And that'll send up Nathan Blem. He's been hit by two pitches. Well, need a double play. You don't need a double play, but it'd be nice just to get out of this inning and back of the dugout and hit this baseball. And get out of a game-long slump for Brush. Down 4-1 to one in the sixth inning. Iker looks back. The pitch. Upstairs and inside with a fastball. 1-0. and oh. At second is Tanner McLean. He reached on an air. Iker looks back. And the offering. And that one almost hit him. 2-0 and oh, underneath the elbow. You got to come in with one down the middle. This is the eight hitter. You don't want to get cute with the eight hitter or the nine hitter. Just challenge them. There's a reason they're near the bottom of the lineup. Two balls and no strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Throw right by and throw back the first. And back in diving is Griman. Two and one. Now play straight up baseball. Don't try to get runners out from home plate or anything like that. Oh, that was a good throw by Kayla, but he was not caught napping whatsoever at first. Big lead at second. 2-1 pitch. Foul to the backstop. Tied him up with a fastball. Might have taken something off it. It's 2-2. Two and two. Okay, just challenge him. Just challenge him at this point. Two balls, two strikes. One out, two on, four, one, Wellington. They lead by three runs in the top of the sixth inning. Looking back, the offering, and that one sails away and back towards Jimenez. Wild pitch advances the runners. Now you got to play the infield in. There's no other option, as I mentioned earlier. When you're not hitting, you're not scoring, the infield has to play in. The play comes to the plate if McLean breaks for the plate. Three balls and two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. A fastball that Blem was late on. He strikes out two down for Cade Keller. B-Digger pitching has recorded five strikeouts. Three by the starter, Odell. And the second for Wiley Eicher. Keller is struck out and popped to the second baseman mesh. I cannot throw a wild pitch here. You don't want that run to score from third. The offering. Swung on, driven deep into left field. Jillick is back. And it's a three-run homer. Cade Keller took a fastball and drilled it over the left center field fence. And Wellington has doubled the lead at 7-1. to one. And on a shallow field like this, that became a no-doubter. And here is Braxton Garner, who's grounded out, struck out, and popped out. 0 for 3. And that is known as a backbreaker. It got the heart of the plate. The offering up and in. That was the perfect pitch to drive. And hit a long way. Swing and a miss by the nine hitter, Cade Keller. 
I mean, it's the right pitch. He challenged the eight hitter. He got him on a strikeout. I mean, he does have a bat in his hand, and that's got to be the first home run you would think for Keller. And that's a little bit high. Ball two, strike one. Fifth home run hit of the season by Wellington. That was Keller's second home run of the year. Two balls and one strike. Swing and a miss. Late on that one was Garner. It's two and two. Wellington has broken this game open, and it started with a big air. The pitch foul to the backstop. Remains at two and two. That's the only hit of the inning. That's all they needed. That's all they needed, a one big swing. The pitch, swing and a miss on a dirty curveball. Garner strikes out. But the damage is complete. Three runs on the three-run homer by Cade Keller. And that was the lone hit. One beat digger error, and the bases were left empty. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning in Brush. Wellington 7, Brush 1 on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We move to the bottom of the sixth inning. The beat diggers need a major rally against Enrique Oderman. Down 7-1 to one to Wellington on their home field. Five-game winning streak is in jeopardy. The pitch swung on, driven deep into left field. Albert's going to go for a home run. That one was drilled by Sawyer Albert, his first home run of the season. The B-Diggers have their first home run since game one against Fort Morgan. And the lead is down to five. It's seven to two. Albert now is one for two. What a beautiful stroke there by Sawyer Albert. And again, only 300 down the line. So it's friendly down the left and right field line, although that really was not even close to the line at all. That was pretty much straight up left field. Here's Ben Metlin, single and walked. What a shot there by Albert to pitch. Low, one ball and no strikes. And you know, it was an easy swing. He just guided the bat through the zone. And the 1-0. That's outside. Chip away, one pitch at a time, one batter at a time if you're brush. They didn't win five games in a row because of nothing. They know what they're doing. And the 2-0 pitch. That's inside, 3-0. To Ben Metlin. This is the part of the lineup that needs to produce. It's been a struggle. And the 3-0. Outside corner for a strike. Hmm. Ben thought he had ball four, kind of flipped the bat. Three and one to the B-digger right fielder. Wine and pitch. Swung on line. That's a base hit into right field. And then the ball gets away. Metlin's around first, headed for second. He might be able to get three bags, but he won't do that. That's a smart play. He'll stay right there as Carter Whedon chased down the baseball. A single and an air on Braxton Garner. Completely misjudged the hop. And the B-Diggers have something brewing in the bottom of the sixth inning. Caleb Jimenez has popped out and struck out. Just needs another good swing. And when I mean another, like back from the beginning of the season, the pitch and the curveball is high. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, if you get to lend and mesh in this inning, all you need is another base runner. That probably gives you another run or two, and you chip away at the lead. The offering fouled on the breaking ball off the end of the bat to the backstop. One ball and one strike. To Caleb Jimenez. Both teams have a home run in this game. 
The Bay Diggers have back-to-back base hits. Home run by Sawyer. Albert single by Metlin. 1-1. Outside with a curveball. Ball two, strike one to Caleb. Enrique Odreman gets a sign from Blem. Long pause the pitch and low. Thought he was going to go with a breaking ball. Three and a one. Well, it's got to be a beautiful pitch here. Caleb knows that his job is not to hit the ball. Caleb knows his job is just to get on base. It doesn't matter how it happens. Three balls and one strike. The stretch. The pitch. Strike with a curveball. That's a heck of a pitch thrown by the right-hander. Three and two. Metlin off of second. Nobody out. Bottom of the sixth inning. Wellington leads seven to two. The offering, check swing foul towards the first base dugout occupied by Wellington. Looked like it might have been ball four, but did not want to take a chance. Remains at three and two. To Caleb Jimenez. Odom into the plate. That is upstairs, and he walked him. Tried to go with a breaking ball and stayed high. That's a great plate appearance. Outstanding plate appearance. And here's Edgar Ortiz. Edgar. Popped to right and grounded into the fielder's choice. In the fourth inning. The B-Diggers have something brewing in the bottom of the sixth. The offering. Swung on and lifted to right field. A routine play for Garner. Barely has to move. Makes the grab. The runner tags the long throw towards third. And out at the safe. Ball was dropped. Oh, man. Metlin would have been out by a mile. Ball was dropped by Gray. On an excellent throw by Garner. Man, I st that's a base running. That's a mistake by Brush. They got away with a huge mistake. That ball was not hit that deep for Metlin to tag up. He would have been out. But Brush catches a huge break. There's Wiley Eicher. Struck out and grounded the third. 0 for 2. Yeah, I was surprised that he tagged up. That was not hit that deep. The pitch fouled up the third base side. Yeah, the only reason field umpire Jeremy Weathers called him safe because the ball was not secured by the third baseman, Gray. But it was right there. Swing and a miss on a bender. Wiley's down 0-2. I wouldn't even pitch to Landon Mesh. I, I'd walk him and load the bases if Iker does not get on. No balls and two strikes to the B-Digger pitcher. The offering in the dirt. Nice take there by Wiley. Blocked by Nathan Blem, who's done a really good job. Wellington with a 7-2 lead, but the B-Digger is threatening for more after Sawyer Albert let off the inning with a home run. One ball and two strikes. To Wiley Eicher. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him on the off speed. Down in the zone. Two down. Yeah, I would not pitch to Mesh. That wouldn't make it. That doesn't make any sense. Too good of a hitter. He's walked and lined out twice. You've got Proctor on deck. Mesh is hitting 250 points higher. But they're going to pitch to him. I think this is a huge mistake by Wellington. The offering. Down and in. With a breaking ball, unless they're going to pitch around him. But why pitch around him? I mean, that's that's what you do in baseball. You play the percentages. And you never allow the opposing team's best hitter to beat you. And that's what Wellington is allowing Brush to do. 1-0 pitch. And that one bounces in. Well, if you're going to pitch around him. Might as well walk him. It's 2-0. I mean, those two pitches haven't come close. And you know that if it's a strike, Mesh is swinging. He's not going to be taking two balls and no strikes. The offering, that is a little bit low and away, 3-0. and 
I'd still swing 3-0. I would. He's your best hitter. Metlin the third. Jimenez at second. 3-0 pitch. That's off the plate. Well, they did pitch around him, so that makes sense. They wanted Mesh to chase. He did not. Now, Hunter Proctor is dangerous. He's walked twice. A sack bunt. He's 0-for-0. Zero zero. And he's the last bead digger to homer in a playoff game. He did that last year. Homer in the regional semifinals. If he does it here, it's a one-run game. The offering. Swung on and chopped over the mound towards the shortstop Keller. Fields fires to first low, and it skips by. One run is in. He menaced to the plate. He scores. That's going to be an RBI for Proctor. Second run scores in the throwing air, and the bead diggers make it a 7-4 to four game in favor of Wellington. What a nice job there by Proctor on that big bouncer up the middle. Yeah, I don't think they would have got him. He's got so much speed. We'll call it an infield hit, but the second run... Does score on the error. Runners at the corners. And Percy Odell is the tying run in the bottom of the sixth inning. A strikeout, a pop out, and a fielder's choice. Has hit the ball on the left side the last two times. The pitch. A strike at the knees with a fastball. No balls and one strike to Percy Odell. The Bay Diggers. We're down 4-1 to one going into the top of the sixth. Now it's 7-4. to four. Both teams have tallied three runs. At the belt is Olderman on the pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch down and in. 0-2 oh to Percy Odell. Mesh at third. Proctor at first. Let's see if Hunter takes off. Might as well make this like a hit and run. I think Hunter's going to take off. There he goes. Fouled. Oh, that pitch would have been a ball. But again, Odo is up there to protect. He is not going to take a chance. Looked like a changeup thrown by Olderman. No balls and two strikes. Blem lays down the sign. Runner goes the pitch. Oh, and, oh, and it hit off the bat. Oh, did I see it? It hit, did it hit his hand? Let's see, you know, it, it hit the bat. It looked like it hit the bat handle. Remains at 0-2. He tried to get out of the way. And it hit the knob of the bat. That's what it hit, the knob of the bat. Yeah, there's no, if that would have hit his hand, he, he wouldn't be able to move. As much noise as that made. And Proctor would have had another steal. The pitch. Swung on and grounded left side. Gray is going to go the short way to second for the out. And that fielder's choice will end the bottom of inning number six. The bead diggers are back in the game. Three runs on three hits. Two Wellington airs and two left. Let's move to the seventh. Wellington seven. Brush four on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Wellington leads Brush 7-4 in the seventh. Let's make this a 1-2-3 inning and get ready for the bottom of the seventh. Against Wiley Iker. Cade Keller with a big three-run homer for Wellington. Extended the lead to 7-1 to before the B-Diggers rallied. Parker Jimenez is 0-3. He's hit the ball to the left side all three times. Swung on and grounded foul first base side. Man, really pulled that one. It's 0 and 1. 2, 3, and 4 for Wellington. This would be a huge win for them in this brief history of the program. You don't win many games when you're young. You win even fewer games on the road. They did win at Weld Central 9 to 8 and at Highland in all 7 0. And the pitch. Change up is outside. One ball and one strike to Parker Jimenez. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded along the first base side. Fielded by Albert. He will step on the bag. One out. 
like the way Albert fielded that ball. He stayed down. You don't have to field it cleanly if you're at first. As long as you knock it down, you're well ahead of the hitter. Carter Whedon has been really good. Two for three. A double single and a ground out. Breaking balls off the glove of the catcher. One ball and no strikes. And Whedon had an outstanding defensive play, robbing Landon Mesh of a base hit earlier in the game. And the offering. Swing and a miss and a changeup above the letters. It's one and one. I'll be back with you on Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Right here against Resurrection Christian, Kevin Fergus on Friday, weather permitting. The offering, swing and a miss and a bender off the glove of Jimenez. One and two. Yeah, the weather is going to get a little bit worse on Thursday. I mean, you're going to have rain. The volume of rain is the question. One ball, two strikes, one down, base is empty. 7-4 Wellington, top of the seventh. Iker to the plate. Swing and a miss. A strike out of Carter Whedon. Two down. Iker with four strikeouts and has not walked a hitter. In fact, the B-Diggers haven't walked anybody. But they have hit four batters, including Tanner Gray, who's grounded out and struck out as well. 0 for 2. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a bender. No balls and one strike. Seven runs on four hits for Wellington. Four runs on four hits for Brush. Both teams have committed two errors. Wellington has stranded three. Bead diggers have stranded eight. The offering. Strike. Fastball. Inner half at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Nuggets play tonight. Eight o'clock. Game two against the Lakers on 10-10. The pitch. Fouled. Nuggets won game one on Saturday in the Western Conference playoffs, 114 to 103. No balls, two strikes. The offering. Curveball just missed. That's a great pitch. Really nice pitch. One and two. And the offering. Low. Two balls and two strikes. To the third baseman has been valuable defensively. Tanner Gray. The pitch. Swung on and chopped the third. Ortiz is right there. Slings it to first. A perfect throw. One, two, three inning for Wiley Iker. Six and a half complete. Wellington seven. Brush four on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's move to the bottom of the seventh inning. Man, the bead diggers trail Wellington seven to four. <clears throat> It'll be Keaton Jillick, Sawyer Albert and Ben Metlin. Against right-hander Enrique Oderman looking for the save. Straight up at 6 o'clock. This is 10-10 KSIR. Brush, Fort Morgan, Weldona. Also at KSIR.com. The pitch. Swung on. Drill deep into left field. And going back and reaching out and making the catch is McLean. Jillick is 0 for 3. One out. Jillick got a good piece of that baseball, but he's the first out of the inning. Sawyer Albert grounded out, walked, and hit a home run. To lead off the bottom of the sixth inning. Against this right-hander. And the pitch. Off the glove. One ball and no strikes. To Sawyer Albert. Laying down the sign is Blem. He's done a nice job behind the plate. The offering. Change up is low, 2-0. and oh. And if you can get to the number one hitter, but you need a lot of guys on base. If you can get to Metlin again, but this is only the number five hitter in the lineup, and there's one out. And the 2-0. -oh. That's outside. 
The winner of this game will improve to five and two in the Patriot League. The loser goes to four and three. Albert should be taking three and zero oh against right-hander Enrique Odreman. The pitch. Curveball's a strike. Yeah, he flipped the bat like Metlin did, but it was clearly a strike. Three balls and one strike to Sawyer Albert. He's had a fine senior season. Outstanding season. And it's far from over. And the offering swung on and grounded to the mound. Nice play to his left underhand toss by the pitcher Odermann to Jimenez. Two outs. What a pitch. He forced Albert to reach out. That's probably a pitch you take because you're ahead of the count at three and one, but Sawyer was already committed. Ben Metlin has had a big game. On base all three times, two singles and a walk. Wine and pitch. That's a strike, a beauty on the outer half. Belt high, it's 0-1. To Ben Metlin. Looking in for the sign. And the offering. Fisted on the ground. Back to the mound. Again, underhand toss to first. By Odreman. And the Wellington Eagles have come into brush. And defeated the Bee Diggers by a score. Of 7-4. to four. The Bee Digger post game show. Is brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Get a full plant of seed, food, and water for your field. Begin that planning for the growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy, 970 571 2024. Seven runs on four hits, two errors, three left on base for Wellington. Four runs, four hits, two errors, eight left on base for Brush. The winning pitcher was Luke Moore. The loss went to Percy Odell. The save to Odreman, time of the game, two hours and three minutes. An unearned run in the top of the third inning gave Wellington a 1-0 lead. Then they scored three in the fourth inning, getting a two-run double from Tanner McLean. Zach Blem drove in a run to make it 4 to nothing. Bad came the beat diggers. Edgar Ortiz with a fielder's choice, and it was 4-1. to one. But then a huge three-run homer in the top of the sixth inning. By Cade Keller made it 7-1. to one. Sawyer Albert with a home run made it 7-2 to two in the bottom of the sixth. B-Diggers tacked on more. Hunter Proctor with an RBI single. Second run scored on an air. And couldn't do any more after that. Wellington picks up a huge win. 6-8 and eight is now their overall record. 5-2 and two in the Patriot League. The B-Diggers have their five-game winning streak come to a halt. They're 4-3 and three in league play. 7-5 and five overall. And it gets much, much, much tougher. Resurrection Christian, University, Eaton, and Sterling. They have a combined seven losses. That's how good those teams are. And those are the next four games for the B-Diggers. So we'll be with you once again coming up on Wednesday. When the Bee Diggers host the Resurrection Christian Cougars, hope you have a great evening. And God bless. I'm John Beltran. The final score from Sunset Baseball Field. Wellington 7, Brush 4 on 1010KSIR, KSIR.com, and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.